Um, you know, you just can't, you kind of mess the setup a little bit, or you didn't quite have the car right from the crash before. So we brought it back home again and really went through it again. And uh, they went down to the laminate, and, and it just kind of played out how it did. I mean, I, I know the car was fast. I just, you kind of get into some uh, instances where you can't get things back right, or maybe you didn't, you overlook something. I mean, these, these, I don't know if people really know how much time and effort has to go into the car every week to make it show up at that track. Um, you know, it's funny because it's, you know, from April through September, I mean, this is what I do. I don't go camping, fishing, <laughs> I don't studies or crunch on some granola, man. I'm at the track and I'm eating, drinking beers afterwards and racing and I love it. That's that- what I'm that's it. Yeah, your camping is definitely, you know, those two-day shows wherever you go. You know, you pull the motor home and stuff. And like I said, you're one of the one of the coolest and funnest guys to, you know, to be on a crew for. And I, I appreciate that. You know, I know how, how much you thrive to win every single week. And it was good. It, it was, I mean, we we're on our feet, literally up in the Moxie Tower. You know, I mean, I believe, you know, everybody in that stands and everybody underneath the stands were cheering you on, you know, for that first win of the season over there, you know, last week at Willamette. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, you don't race for the money. I mean, I can obviously tell you that because I'd be, I'm poor, poor man from racing, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you do it because, you know, like tonight when, when me, me and Joe walked out across the stand and, or, you know, and over there and kind of talking and, uh, you know, just listening to the crowd and, and stuff, that cheer that they gave and, I mean, that, that was pretty cool. I, I really like that. And, uh, you know, and that's what, uh, I think that's what keeps me going and, uh, every year and coming back and, and I mean besides the fact I just like the race and um, yeah, it's probably one of the only other things I'm really good at so <laughs> I never was big into letting well, I'll say after last week's run, John, I'm sure your fan base exploded. Um, a quick question for you, because during this conversation, you've mentioned three different racetracks you've been on this year. You've been to Yakima, the big track up in Washington. You've been to, to Cottage Grove, the, you know, the little bull ring down south of Willamette, and then you've been to Willamette. Three very different types of racetracks. What type of racetrack does John Campos prefer as a driver? Uh, I like uh, slick and smooth. So, uh, you know, Willamette gets slick and smooth. I, I like that track. I've raced there for years. I've raced on the old configuration. I raced on the new configuration. Um, Yakima, I, I, I love that track up there. It just, that was one of the bad instances I had. It just got some rough in it. It was rough. But, um, but if I had to really choose um, one to really call my favorite, I, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to say uh, Lebanon. I mean, I just the place has just always been fun. It's it's wide. It's fast. It's um, the old configuration was really fun to run. Um, you know, learning how to run the cushion and stuff with Rob and Trevor and all that. And um, I mean, that place just took some uh, took some talent to get around. And the, and the people that raced there from years before that, you know, like uh, like the, you know the Hilliers and the Shank and the and the, um, you know May has been there forever and just. The people that have raced there, and I mean, it's just got a lot of nostalgia to it, and the high wash program, and coming to Warren, and, uh, and everything. So, yeah, I'd say that's probably my favorite track. Uh, I also like Sunset Speedway, man. I love that little boring. I mean, that place is just makes a driver out of you to get around it. Well, we were talking about that earlier, and you definitely have to be a driver to win at Sunset, and you did one heck of a job last year in your visit to Sunset when I was there with Josh calling the race, and that was a fun one. I mean, you guys were banging doors and getting the job done. Uh, you're going to be back there this year for that race, I'm sure? Yeah, you know, uh, I haven't really sat down and made a schedule out. Um, I don't know how I started to, and then uh, my buddy Bobby Valencia up there, you know, he's got that yak deal going on, and uh, I wanted to support that. And uh, that's starting next weekend, so I don't know. I was, plan- I was planning to go there. I had it on my schedule. Uh, that's where about where I stopped on the schedule, but... Uh, some other things might hold me from making that long trip up there. I might have to, uh, mm-hmm. I might have to just come back and, uh, I think I might go to Sunset next weekend. I've been, been to the girl, been to Lebanon, been to Yakima, I might as well, uh, I need to go support that track as well. Well, you know, it would, it'd be awesome to see you, uh, you know, next week. Uh, we don't we don't run uh, IMCA Budweiser IMCA modifies don't run actually next week with us but 
um, the following week we do, uh, it'd be great to see you up there. I'd love to call those races and stuff and watch you up there, a uh, little bull ring. You know, you talking about when you and Joey came across the track, I, I came down, you know, from the Moxie Tower and talked to the fans and talked with you guys, and it was absolutely wonderful when we announced you guys walking across the track uh, you know, onto the front stretch there, and just you know, I mean, the de- the dedication of the fans there at Willamette Speedway. You know, we had you know, of course, with the rain and stuff, not as many people came out, but the people that did come out, you know, and then support you as drivers. You know, it's cool to see. You know, the drivers don't get to see you know how, what the fans react to you when when we talk about you guys, and it's great to see you guys come across the track show the fan support and just to see how much support you actually guys do have when you were out in that track and it was it was kind of a warm feeling well, and stuff they, they kept the they kept those fans around a little longer <laughs> <laughs> but it was cool you know we talked yeah. about you know the fan base between Joey and him and uh you know and, and it pretty much you know I mean they sat there and you know there's some fans and stuff for Joey Tanner but Johnny basically said that you know he kind of took the cake tonight yeah yeah you know like I said, I've been racing at Lebanon for, for for a while, and you know, it just felt good to hear the hear the fan base there, and uh, you know, especially a uh, you know Joey. I mean, he's a young guy and very talented driver, and uh, you know, he's gonna he's gonna make his mark in the uh, late model racing stuff. But it, it just felt really good to to hear the fans' response, and especially standing next to you know a young upcoming star like Joey and stuff, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, fans and the fans are great. Um, now, now I'm sitting here thinking. I, I mean, I, I was like overlooked the schedule for sunset. Now I'm like, oh, where, where am I going to race? You, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, Johnny Lightning. You can always call me, and I'll, I'll fill you in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, John, hey, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up tonight's show. We're going to wrap up tonight's show, bud. I want to say thanks for calling in, taking your time with us, and I'm sure we're going to see you at a track here in the Northwest soon. And I uh, just want to say keep the dirty side down, and maybe we'll talk in Victory Lane again. All right, man. Thanks for having me on, and uh, thanks for everybody that's listening out there. I uh, really uh, appreciate the support. Absolutely. you have any sponsors you want to plug real quick? Man, I got a lot of them. Uh, uh, you know, BSB, J. Neal, uh, back there in Kansas, uh, great Great shock, great program he's got me on. Um, Northwest Family Chiropractic, can't take them enough. Uh, Esther Lee Motels, if you guys are ever in Lincoln City, need a place to stay, uh, stop by there. Uh, Mark Beatty will hook you up. Uh, my wife uh, and my daughter, of course, always supporting me. Uh, Swan, Wisp, and Salem. And uh, uh, just uh, all my pit guys that come down and give me a hand, like Mr. Josh Warbus there and uh, uh, Isaac Gregor and and uh, my new guy Brent, he seems pretty good. Um, and Zach and uh, all my guys. And uh, yeah, there's probably somebody I'm forgetting, but um, yeah, I just can't thank everybody for the help. That's cool, man. John, we, we thank you so much for being a part of Moxie Media, you know, and, and the support that you guys give us also. You know, it's great. You know, we do this, you know, not only for, you know, ourselves, but we do this to bring Northwest Racing back to, you know, the community, back to the fans. And it shows tonight when you guys walk across the track how much this is working and how much you guys are loved out there, not just going around and around circles, but how much actually people care about you and know about you now. Well, yeah, I was just sitting there looking over there at the, the fans, and I was like, the fans sit in the stands. I'd want some action if we're going to sit here and hold on to the screen. So, <laughs> <laughs> let's go over there and do something. <laughs> always, always Johnny Lightning thinking of the, thinking of every, thinking of what the most exciting thing to do during the day. It's, it's awesome. Well, yeah, we need some halftime entertainment, I guess. So, well, much appreciated <laughs> tonight. Spend some time with the fans tonight, and uh, yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. Thank you, John. Have a have a great week, and we'll see you at a track uh, next Saturday night. All right. Take care. See you, buddy. Bye. Wow, Johnny Lightning, that is, what a character to have on. He is always, you know I mean, he's so cool. Um, I just got word to uh, next week. Uh, let me get back to my notes. Is John Gamble up at Sunset Speedway. We actually have the Bob Marley um, uh, Mer- yeah, Morley Memorial Race and stuff. He's actually going to drive. 
um, that street stock plus his late model uh, oh, for that race. So definitely, if Mother Nature, if you're listening to us now, that is a race we have to get in, not only just because, but to show our support, uh, you know, for Bobby. Um, it's, you know, I mean, what, what, what a heck of a kid. I mean, you know, he was up and coming. You know, it was, he, was, he was a good, good driver, and it's, it's a sad loss stuff to you uh, to lose him at such a young age. Um, but Well, you know, you talk about losing somebody and, and up and coming drivers. It, it, he was, the biggest part about that was, how he was viewed in the pit area and you talk about a guy that was loved by many loved um, by many had definitely a huge huge uh, racing family in the pit area a, a good fan base and you know I know that uh, he's going to be dearly missed at Sunset Speedway and you know hopefully they can get a good show in, in Bobby's memory and you guys have a, a, an awesome deal for that race right there but yeah it's a sad thing and you hate to hear something like that in racing or it, for anybody, any anywhere, it, well, it's a sad deal. But you know, uh, our condolences from Moxie Media and our families to to Bobby's family and friends definitely. And, and team members. And um, I wish I could be a part of that show this year. Unfortunately, Josh, that's your gig up north. And you know that. Well, that's another thing. You know that Moxie Media is actually going to bring in. And uh, I don't know if we can talk about it. You know, Let's back and that forth. A but that's, a that's definitely going to be a surprise. Um, but it's going to be cool. You know, it, we'll put you race fans in. The, we'll just put it like this: race fans, you will have the action. From both tracks in one night. All not gonna tell. Not gonna tell you how. Not gonna tell you how it's gonna be. But you know, if you listen to us and everything, it will be something. But yeah, you know, our, our uh, condolences and stuff to Bobby's family. Uh, you know, um, it's gonna be great. You know, that's a that's a great driver up there, John Gamble. Uh, to to have that honors to do that. That'll be uh, very emotional and stuff for for a lot of people. But you know, I mean, you think about it too. Dirt. This is the, this is dirt racing. That's how that's how we are. You know, on all motorsports. I mean, you, know, you talk about NASCAR and stuff too. It's a family sport. But dirt racing hands down um you know your your friends you know your 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 enemies on saturday but your friends on sunday you know that's right and you know you break apart or something like that monday come monday you know you're calling them hey you know do you have a spare and and by tuesday you have it on your car but you go back out there on that track on saturday and it's back to game on game on baby (laughs) and and then it's even worse if you beat me with my own part because then i'm (laughs) taking it back because somewhere along the line i'm gonna need it so (laughs) but you know because it can't be that fast with my own stuff but you know um uh, yeah, this this weather, Mother Nature. I mean, we talked about last year is that the first seventeen races at sunset, we didn't rain out, and Sun, usually yeah. it's a rain out for the first couple races. And mm-hmm. so Mother Nature is kind of giving us a little tease of what didn't happen it's, last year. It's Oregon. It's April. If it says fifty percent, it might it's as well hundred that, percent. That's how it goes. <laughs> but uh, to all you guys out there listening, all the race teams, friends, families, sponsors, we want to say thanks. We want to say a big shout out to our our sponsor here on Northwest Dirt News, uh, Northwest Truck trucking academy uh those guys have been awesome if you're looking for a career and you, you want to make a change these guys come into their school uh you know dave and bill will get you lined up they'll get you in a truck they'll take you around they'll, they'll get your license and give you a career you know if you're looking right. to do something different and make some good money without having to go to school for four years these guys will get you on the right track and they're going to help you uh and with placement of a job and a lot of resources and stuff those guys have down there they do and they were here you know just the other day talking with us and they're excited about being about being on you know the title sponsor for our show you know northwest trucking academy uh, bringing you the the northwest dirt news great guys fun guys um if you can't talk to them you can't talk to anybody because it's just joke after joke but they're serious about what they do they'll get you trained up they'll get you a career it's not going to cost you a lot of money and uh you know but it's many money well spent absolutely and and you're gonna have fun doing it so if you're looking for a new career you want to make a change in life northwest trucking academy here in tangents just down the road from albany uh talk to dave talk to bill they'll get you lined up and get you guys going and they will help you find a job once you graduate that course absolutely and it's it's something that uh you know they're 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 great people and stuff but you know with that said you know Corey, i man i'm excited you know next week mother nature is going to come in and and uh, and that's it so but uh we appreciate it and and thanks for listening